happy St George's Day. It's stupid o'clock. We're having a cup of tea on the naughty bench. <laughs> Before we take the dog for a walk. Before we take the dog for a walk. We weren't going to get up early this morning, but we seem to have. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> dilly dilly. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we've got a right busy day today. I think we've got to go to the manor because we've got post at the manor. And then at 12.30, Luton are playing. So uh, that's on telly, so I'll be watching that on Sky. And then I think at 2.30 or 3 or something like that, we've got F1 Sprint Race and we've got the Aston Villa game on concurrently together, that means, I think. Or is that one after another? Who knows? So I've got to try and watch two screens at the same time. And of course, it's St George's Day. So that obviously means there's got to be some dilly dillies going on, doesn't it? So, um, yeah. Goodness knows what this week will bring. Bye. Oh, and one other thing. Still out of the air. Still out of the air. So I think that'll happen today as well. Bye. <laughs> How strange. It's a tea bag. There must have been some tea bagging going on in the car park, Lee. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, it's a new dog in sight. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> He's been moaning just because he wanted to come and sit on my arm like a baby. <laughs> I don't know who's more stupid. Oh, that sounds really loud in my ear, Hector. You weirdo. Bye. <laughs> Lee? Yeah? Where are we going? Yes, we're going to the manor. <laughs> I wonder what horrible postage we've got today. It's bound to be bills and bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Or junk. Yeah. That's the worst thing, doing this journey and yeah, then it's just junk mail. It's like, oh, really? <laughs> it's happening, everyone. I'm getting my Billy Bone Idol look. He's going to clip of me. Clip of me, I say. Now, of course, Rob and Matt won't call this a um, Billy Idol haircut. They'll call it a lesbian haircut. <laughs> I'm looking more like Boris now. <laughs> I tell you. <ya. laughs> I left my water spray in the car, so... <laughs> Doing it the old-fashioned way, just. God, your roots are really showing. <laughs> we'll have to have a re-dye. Bye. That rhymed. Nah. <laughs> Lee's putting some product in it now to give it that final zhuzh. <laughs> I like having the air pulled a little bit. <laughs> Here we go, sir. Lee, is it a nice day for a white wedding? <laughs> do I look like Billy Bone Idol now? Yes, you do. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Still look like nah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've just watched the Luton game. It's disappointing. It's a one-all draw. So I'm a bit disappointed, but we should have won that one. But in here, now for this afternoon, right now, on the iPad on the right, we're going to be watching the F1 sprint race. And on the MacBook Pro Maxi thingy doodah, we're going to be watching um, Aston Villa versus Leicester, or Leicester versus Aston Villa, um, both at the same time. And obviously, I'm going to participate in the taking of a wonderful British ale, or an English ale indeed. And I've got my phone to use for the hotspot for that one, and that one's on the normal web. Bye. Lee? Yes. You seem to have caused destruction down here. <laughs> What's going on? No. Uh, I'm revamping my drawers. What, your pants? No, these drawers. Oh. What's Hector on the bed? Oh, because you put him on the bed. Oh, yeah. Aston Villa drew 0 0, which isn't a bad result, actually. Right. But I'm not happy you've. Uh, look, this is our bedroom. Yeah. We can't go to sleep out here, can we? Let's be honest. Time. We should move it all onto the kitchen floor. Ha! <laughs> Bye! Did you see that look she gave me? <laughs> but she knows it's true. Don't you, Lee? Well, if I haven't painted it yet, then mm. it'll mm. be alright. Mm. Bye! Mm. Bye! 
Happy Sundays everyone! We're starting the day off with a nice hot sausage, aren't we Lee? And you can't beat a hot sausage on a Sunday morning. Definitely not. <laughs> Lee, oh. you've got to tell them what happened last night. Or what happened to me last night because of what you did. <laughs> what? You see this lovely lady, you would never expect what she emitted last night to be so bleak. Middle of the morning, I must have been about two o'clock. Well, actually, when I first went to bed, I thought, hmm, doesn't smell so nice in here. Then about two or three o'clock in the morning, I woke up and thought, what the hell is that? I heard you say bleak, and that woke me up. I'm telling you what, whatever she emitted, I'm surprised it didn't take the varnish off the walls inside the boat. And I'm surprised it didn't actually, she didn't combust herself. And then she did it again about an hour later. I was just getting back to sleep, and then she did it again. Never fart over there. Yeah, but Lee, they were rancid. <laughs> they, were they were bleak. It was a bleak evening. Bleak. Bye. <laughs> Are you mighty. You love that ball, don't you, Hector? Here's my drawers. I don't show my drawers to many people. So here's my drawers that I stripped yesterday. And as you can see, the material was sewn to cardboard and then the cardboard was stuck on. So I'm gonna to have to sand that off. I don't know how I'm gonna do the drawer front yet, so I've left that as it is for now. And uh, so I'm just gonna do this while I'm outside in the sunshine. Paul's having a shower, getting ready for F1. I don't know why he feels the need to have a shower to, for F1, but anyway. So, I'm gonna uh, get all my bits together and start. Right, well the sanding wasn't really working, so I'm trying it a different way. If you wet it, it just kind of all comes off in big bits, thankfully. So I've got this wet up here and I'm soaking it in the cloth. And I've just kind of been scraping it and then I should just, although that's dry now, so that's gonna work. Oh, that's not working, obviously. But then when I, uh, whoo! I've only had the water on there for a, a minute, so, uh, but you get the idea. That should work better, and then I'll just give it a light sand afterwards. So, uh, yeah, the sand in it was just making a mess, and it was wasn't actually doing much. <laughs> so this is plan B. Yeah, this is much easier, she says. I can't find my scraper either, so, uh, so yeah, just get under there, and then it all just peels off. And I shall just give it a light sanding. Yeah. Uh, I'm still trying to um, make the table non wobble. Hi. <laughs> I said you're still trying to make the table un wobble. I'm making it stiff as I can. <laughs> Fanar, Fanar. Ooh, nearly done, nearly done. Look at this. <laughs> Splendid. Right, it's all prepped. Sort of rubbed down and whatever. And I've got this lovely green, sage green paint. Chalk finish. Chalk paint, whatever you call it. So, I shall do that and then hopefully it'll turn out alright. See you later. Well, we're still outside. We're nearly freezing to death because the weather's just weird. And it's warm one minute, then it's flipping freezing the next. So, I've got my hat on, I've got my coat on. Oh, bugger! Lee's oh. just weird, not the weather. <laughs> Did she just paint my nose? I'll no, tell I, you, I bye. Didn't, I didn't get you. <laughs> Tiny bit. <laughs> oh dear. So my drawers are having the third coat of paint now. So me uh, chalk paint. So, uh, I don't know how many more coats I'll need. 
Probably another 24. I still don't know what to do with the drawers themselves yet because I'm not sure whether the material will come off. So I'll just do this, concentrate on this today and tomorrow and then have a think about the, uh, the actual drawers. Uh, we're trying to decide what to have for dinner, which is always difficult. We spend our life asking each other, oh, what should we have? Oh, me spending my life asking Paul, what should we have for dinner? And then he says, oh, I don't fancy that. <laughs> and I say, I'm, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> I asked him if he wanted anything in the world. He he wanted either. I can cook prawns, pill pill. But I just said, I said I haven't got the steak. You wanted steak and prawns. I said, well, we haven't got it. I'm not talking to you. So, ah uh, oh dear. So yes. So I don't know what we're having for dinner. But there you go. <laughs> Eh? What? what? Eh? <laughs> Paul's having a little trouble being a rhinoceros. <laughs> I just heard him shout, oh my god, it's hard being a rhinoceros. <laughs> so, <laughs> one is assuming he's playing a game. I think it's his crossy road thingy, which is like for children. <laughs> He said he was better as an arctic fox, obviously. As he is a silver fox. <laughs> silver fox. <laughs> oh no, he's having... He's having trouble with his log now. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going, bye. Lee wouldn't let me have an Indian. So we're having a lotus screw. And I'm so happy because we're having a barbecue, isn't it? Woohoo! And some Thatcher's haze. What do you think, Hector? Lovely evening, I say. Do you honestly believe? Do you honestly believe that Hector would be left out when we have a barbecue? <laughs> Come on. Come on. I always make sure I cook him his own sausage and I've give, I've saved him a little bit of burger of mine and a little bit of chicken of mine. Lee's mean and saved him absolutely <laughs> nothing. Well I knew you'd saved him. Would you like some um, barbecue Hector? Because you're a mighty hound. Hector, you have to give me a kiss. No, you have to give me a kiss. Hector, give me a kiss. No, no, give me a kiss. Good boy. There you go. He's such a mighty hound, I say. Good night, everybody. It's been a splendid day, I say. Bye. have to rethink that one aren't we so they can get over the flower pot I thought they kind of could but yeah we're gonna have to hot glue so I'm gonna have to find me hot glue gun and put some sort of disc around the top of that and see if we can thwart them but um yeah there you go we'll get them rats in the end don't want to kill them but just want to stop them getting onto the bird table bye I've just been reading our YouTube comments and there's a I'm gonna try and pronounce this right I think it's Bill Konechny from Canada gave me a tip 
and he actually said about the rats we're talking about to use some of this on the pole <laughs> and we might have a bit of a laugh with that so before I go um, putting any cones or anything above it I am going to put some of this on the pole but I'm only going to put it from halfway up because you don't want him to just slip straight off you wouldn't get halfway up and slip off did not you <laughs> I'm gonna have a go bye <laughs> I so hope this works because it would be so funny. <laughs> I'll try a little bit more and then we'll put the camera on tonight and see what happens. Bye! Good morning everyone, it's Monday morning and I think I need to do one more coat on my drawers. And here's the drawer front that I am... Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this off so I'm going to give it a go. And if it's a disaster, then I don't know what I'm going to do. But there you go. I've got to give it a go. Unless I just leave it. And that's like that. <clears throat> so I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to investigate it and see what happens. Here we go. Well, I've decided not to take the fronts off, but I'm just going to paint over it. And that one looks okay, and it's only had one coat, so I'm just going to go for it. If that doesn't work, then I'll have to think again. I might just put some material over the top of that material. So, here we go. Oh, I've missed a bit there, so I'm just in that bit. Da, 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 da. So... There we go. Yeah, you can see it coming through, but like I say, there's only one coat, so I'll just do a couple more. I want the stitching to still show, so I'm just not allowing the paint to go in the holes. I've got my trusty bamboo skewer, which I don't think I've ever used for cooking. I use for all sorts of other things. There we are. All finished. Please excuse the mess in the background, <laughs> I've just noticed. Because I haven't washed up. But yeah, they're looking okay. I'm very pleased with them. everyone it's um tuesday i believe and there's something strange going on i might be living in the twilight zone you know you saw me yesterday putting grease on the uh on the old bird thing to stop the rats going up you clearly saw me do it now have a look at this it's gone no it seriously has gone look and i put shit loads on there there's a little bit still left on the pot so I don't know what's going on. Very bizarre. And another weird thing. We hardly got any footage at all last night, so I don't know what's going on. It was a bit misty, so I don't know whether the mist did something to that grease. You have a look at these rats, it's still quite funny. Bye. I wonder if the rats ate the blooming Vaseline and uh, with the camera not shooting off as often as it normally does which I don't really know why um, maybe it just didn't catch it so I'm going to put some more Vaseline on there tonight and uh, hopefully we'll get some slippy slidey rats later on um, but yeah I really don't know what happened there I did set the camera just to um, record video last night rather than video and photos 
So maybe I'll stick it back to how I used to have it and maybe it will um, fire off a bit more. We'll see. Bye. Right then, what are we going to try tonight? Well, obviously we're going to re-Vaseline the pole. I'm also going to use some cooking oil on the first bit because I'm convinced they must have just eaten it. Then maybe they like the taste. So if I put a few inches of that below the um, Vaseline, then they won't be able to actually nibble on the Vaseline. So they'll have to get out that bit. And then if they get further up, then they're going to fall off, are they? That'd be funny. But then maybe if they really are determined to eat the Vaseline, I'm going to put some hot chili powder on it as well. I'm going to mix that in with the Vaseline and see what happens. Bye. Right then, so all we got to hope is that the camera works properly tonight. So I have reset it to how I had it before and um, I should put it slightly higher up on the back of a chair rather than down on the bench because maybe it takes through the angle of the dangle or something, I don't know. Um, but I suppose um, if they eat their Vaseline now, <laughs> they'll have the shits in the morning. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> right then, I've got it set on the back of the chair. Pointing at the thingy doodah. So let's hope it works tonight and get some funny footage. Hector, are you excited? Yeah. Buff, bye. Look, yes. are we determined to eat outside yes. even though it's freezing? <laughs> we got chicken and chips and eggs, I say. Have you had a hard day, Lee? Uh, not too bad, because it was... I had two clients in one house. Then one client, two clients in another house, then two clients in another house. But then you had so to go back to Dunstable, didn't you? Oh, I did have to go back to Dunstable. Right? Get someone to skin it? No, we decided not to in the end. Oh. I've just cut it really short. So, um, You've just... got a bit of a poorly knee as well, haven't you? Yes. It's, it's because really... you're getting old. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Isn't it? You're an old creator. <laughs> Are you excited about rat cam tonight? <laughs> yeah. We're having a backup as well, aren't we? We're going to put the security <laughs> camera on. Yeah, that's been playing up. We need, we want to get a new one, which we're hoping we'll live stream as well. So all you lovely people that've been doing buy me a coffee thing, we're not quite there, but we're close. So maybe in a month or so, we might be able to get uh, a camera where we can do some live streams from from the top of the boat, and maybe you might even be able to wiggle it round yourselves. I say. And there's nothing like wiggling Wiggle it around it. every now and again. Wiggle it just a little bit. Hey, bye. Bye. We're watching the rats live, aren't we, Lee? <laughs> we are. Oh, sh <laughs> Wouldn't it be brilliant if we could live stream this on YouTube? There has to be a way. Well, I know there's a way. <laughs> Obviously, we'd have to get them get power out there. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's very dark in here. It? it is. <laughs>Morning everyone, it's Wednesday I say, it's Wednesday and the bloody rat still got onto the blooming bird feeder. Now what I think's happening is, well there's two things, one is when they're trying to get out of the pole they're actually rubbing the grease off with their bellies, so for the first couple of hours they can't do it and uh, then eventually they, the littler ones seem to get out there. Then I saw one of the big ones, the little one climbing over the big one to get over the greasy bit. So they're clever little blighters, I tell you. But they're also getting into the trees and they're jumping off the trees onto the platform. Because Lee and I sat there last night and I watched them on our security camera. So I had this little thing. Hold on, I'll just turn the camera around. So you had a little Rio Link Argus thing on the table over here watching out and we could live stream that into the boat now we can't live stream this camera to youtube because it, we just can't it's not possible and it's playing silly buggers um because it won't record properly to the sd cards but let's have a look just how much grease is left on here so down the bottom is still a little bit slick but up here look there's a little bit left on but most of it's gone 
and they're getting onto this branch here and jumping onto here. I'll show you the footage now. now I haven't got all of the footage of them jumping because as I say that was just us watching it on security cam. The other camera didn't pick all that up but it did pick some of it up. So I'm going to cut that branch off in a moment. Bye. Hopefully that will stop the buggers. Right then, I'm going to modify it. So obviously I've seen me take it apart, I've taken the old bowl off. Don't tell Lee, but I've stolen the mixing bowl. I've already cut the edge off it, so she can't have it back now. Because if the edge was on it, they'd probably still get up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of this. That's that diameter. And I'm going to hot glue it, hopefully, if that works. And uh, then we'll see if the buggers can get over that then, won't we? <laughs> so I'll give it a go, bye. No. Well, that wasn't easy to get the hole in that, to be fair. It'll all be tidied up when I hot glue it, but that's about where it's going to go. I'll take it inside and hot glue it then, bye. Right then. Don't know whether you can see me doing this. Oh, I need another stick already. Oh. Always happens, doesn't it? Oh. It's all too much, I say. Well, I think that's enough for that side. I was getting a mess with this stuff, I tell you. It's all over the place as it is. Lee's going to kill me. The stringy glue everywhere. I must admit, we need a, a better bloody glue gun than that because it's diabolical. So let's just show you that if we can. So I've done in there. It'll take a couple of minutes to dry. I'll just leave it to dry for a minute, then I'll come back and I'll do the other side. But the side's dry enough, so let's see if I can uh, do the top. That'll probably be enough. We'll see. Let it dry for a bit. Right then, it seems sturdy enough. I shall uh, put it on. And there we are then. I shall refill the um, ball one, which will go there, the fatty balls, and I'll put the other one up as well, and then we're done. And we'll see what Ratty Rattimus does tonight. Bye. Right then, I think I'm going to call it for this vlog because we're up to over 30 minutes already, I think. So, um, and we're doing stuff with Conroe over the weekend. So you'll have to wait till the next vlog to see how the rats get on.
Love you all. Speak to you later. Have a brilliant weekend and a brilliant upcoming week. Hopefully we'll have a uh, another video out maybe Monday, Tuesday. Bye.